commissioned into Soviet fleet service in 1980s Kiev was assigned the Rakitny e Krazer or missile cruiser designation by the Soviets and a CGN designation by the Americans. Planned initially to find and engage enemy missile submarines it became a much more capable warship when it was equipped with a long-range P-700 Granite anti-ship missile. In appearance and firepower Kirov is more like a battle cruiser than a normal missile cruiser. Its power plant is unique in being a combined nuclear and steam system. Two reactors are coupled to oil-fired boilers that superheat the steam produced in the reactor plant to increase the power output available during high-speed running. Most of the weapons systems are located forward of the massive superstructure. The stern is used to house machinery and a below-deck helicopter hangar, which accesses the flight deck via a lift. Up to five Ka-27 Helix helicopters can be accommodated in the hangar, though a normal complement is three. The helicopters are a mix of ASW and missile guidance. The latter provide target data for the main battery of 20 Granite Mach 2.5 anti-ship cruise missiles, located below decks forward in 45 degrees angled launch tubes. Other weapons and systems vary from ship to ship. Area air defense is provided by vertical launch fort missiles, housed in 12 8-round rotary launchers forward of the SSN-19 bins. Close-in air defense is handled by a mix of OSAM missiles, 30mm CIWS mountings and 130mm DP guns. The main ASW armament is a reloadable twin rastrub ASW missile launcher with associated variable depth low frequency sonar aft and a low frequency bow sonar. Later ships carry 10 Vodiped torpedo carrying missiles. The Kirov class battle cruisers have the world's largest missile battery at 352 missiles. The sheer size of the ships mean that they have plenty of space for a command, control and communications outfit and could serve as effective fleet flagships. One of their intended missions was to act as a task group command escort to the aircraft carriers being planned by the Soviet Navy. Five vessels were laid down between 1974 and 1989 but only four were completed. The first ships were named after heroes of the Bolshevik Revolution, but with the end of the communist state all have been renamed. Admiral Ushakov, ex Kirov, was inactive since the early 1990s following a reactor accident and has been cannibalized to provide parts. Admiral Lazarev, ex France, has been out of service for a decade and is destined to be scrapped. The Admiral Nakamov X Kalinin was refitted in 1994 but did not go to sea from 1997. Since 2004 it is completely refitted and is expected to return to active service in 2018. Pyotr Veliki was launched in 1989 but was not completed until 1998. Lack of funds also meant that the fifth ship, the Kuznetsov, was cancelled in 1990 and scrapped before launch, the name being assigned to an aircraft carrier. Currently only the Pyotr Veliki is in active service. Another ship, the Admiral Nakamov, is undergoing repairs and refit since 1999. It should join the fleet in 2018 to 2019. Two other ships are inactive and laid up. It is unlikely that their modernization will occur due to funding problems.